Hello everybody! Welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. Exciting Isaac news for you today. So I'm gonna play as Isaac. Every time I say Isaac, take a drink! Isaac, 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 Isaac! Oh, you're dead. Shouldn't have followed everything I said. If I told you to jump off a bridge, would you? Anyway, despite my manic ramblings for the start of this video, there actually is some exciting Isaac news. Not related to the Let's Play, at least not directly, but related to the game itself. A number of sources, uh, most notably among them for this, Edmund McMillan's own blog, uh, has stated, or have stated, that there will be, indeed, a Mega Isaac expansion coming sometime in 2012. Not sure when the release date is going to be. Ed says he's working on it very leisurely, at his own pace, let's put it that way. Uh, but what it will be, we do know some details. It's going to almost double the length of the game, adding 50% more content. It's going to be $3, which I don't think is very steep considering the size of the Halloween update that we got. And what was the other thing? Oh, they're adding something called trinkets. And no, it's not like VVVVVV. One second, let's see what we got here. The bean, that's a reroll candidate. I don't like my reflection, but we'll pick it up anyway, because we got nothing better to do. Um, yes, yeah, so it's got trinkets. Trinkets are going to be up to the left by your minimap screen, and essentially what they do is they have passive benefits. They teased at one of them, which was a trinket called Red Patch, but we don't know what it does. So it's kind of like having a passive benefit along the lines of, I don't know, like a damage up or a luck foot or something, but we don't know what they do yet, and we're not sure if you can trade them out, but you get trinkets, I'm trying to get my, my diction right here, you get trinkets from fortune teller machines, which is a new type of like slot machine arcade type thing that's being added. So there's a whole lot to look forward to here, along with new environments as well. I'm not sure how many floors there are going to be, but definitely the screenshot that they showed had... Uh, an environment I've never seen before. I'm just gonna speculate it looks kinda like an attic to me. It's all got dusty cobwebs and like hardwood floors or well, some kind of wooden floors. Anyway, probably not hardwood. But in any case, looking forward to that at some point in this next year. Not sure when it's gonna come out, but you know, take your time. Make it good. Reroll Bob's Rotten Head for sure. Oh man, that's awesome. Getting Transcendence, aka the noose right off the bat means that we could get a Ouija board and that would be awesome as well. In conjunction with this, we would like never get hit, except for right there when I almost got hit. Yeah, so I'm very much looking forward to that. I think $3 is a pretty good price to pay. Remember, the Halloween DLC was totally free, and that added like probably 25% of the game, if not more, a number of bosses. We also had the Krampus DLC for free, but I mean, that was only one more item and one more boss, which is kind of not as much, of course, but what I'm saying is, if you're balking at this idea because the thing's gonna be $3, think about how much fun you've had with Isaac so far. I mean, I got like 90 hours into this game, it cost me $5. It didn't, it didn't even cost me anything. I got it as a gift, but seriously, $4 or $5. It's an insane value. And there are actually people that talk to me on Steam that have more time in this game than myself, which boggles my mind. But still, definitely worthwhile. And something exciting in the Isaac universe. And of course, when those come out, I'm not sure the future of the Isaac Let's Play. I basically just sit down and play it whenever I you know, feel like it, and oh man, I got hit. It's tapering down a little bit, but certainly whenever that comes out, I'll play it, because I am still basically in lust with this game. Oh my god, just explode one of the Larry Juniors, please! I refuse to die to LJ on floor one. And honestly, the flying is actually making this a little bit harder, because I can't tell when I'm in the right path to be able to hit them. There we go, that one's gonna do. But just get one of them down, we'll be fine. I wonder if they'll improve the AI on Larry Jr. in the new update. If so, uh, reconsider. Don't do it. He's almost dead. Hoping we get an HP up, because I, apparently I suck at this game ever since I've come back from my vacation. Oh, whoa, where you, where you, there we go. HP upgrade, fantastic. We're almost back to full health. It did take us like four minutes, though, to get through the first floor. Which is longer than usual, let's put it that way. My reflection is such a strange item, it just causes the bullets to come back at you. Which is okay, oftentimes, because if you miss, they, uh, they will like kind of circle back and make an arc. Which could allow you to hit more enemies, however, the downside to this is that I think it might decrease your range a little bit. It looks like my shots don't go as far and that range is kind of co-opted into the, the statistic that pulls it back, if that makes sense any sense at all, in fact it might not, I totally forgot that I could fly as well here. here we go, let's take out these guys, pains in the asses, the whole lot of them, I'm hoping to not get hit here, maybe pick up a brimstone, Brim brimstone plus flying is game over, mom's knife would be fine as well, anything that goes over rocks means it's impossible for me to be hit. Really should have tried to push that bomb further into the 
Uh, tinted rock area there. Now there's a tinted rock in there. I'm going to have to pick up a bomb at some point to get to it. But this is an easy room as long as you don't shoot too much poop. You basically just want to keep these guys trapped in here. Unless they escape through the corners of the poop. Which they just did. And now this is actually kind of a tricky room because there's tons of flies everywhere. I can't believe I dodged that. I didn't really deserve it, but... One thing I will say about my reflection is that it makes diagonal shots a little bit more effective because if you miss on the first pass, they're always going to come back and maybe hit somebody on the other side of the room. Here we go, still no bombs. But we do have a key so we can go to the item room. And we do have a D6 so we can reroll it as well. And our tarot card will be the tower. Okay, so what I'm going to do actually, well, let's go to the item room first. Range up, I don't want that. Shears! Ooh! I'll take that, you know what, I will take that. Um, abandoning the D6 right off the bat hurts, but the shears is going to be a really powerful item for taking out these bosses. I mean, I can already fly, so I'm missing out on some of the benefits of it. Okay, we are going to get the tinted rock here. It's going to give us damage up, another bomb, and the secret room. That was awesome, which gives us unicorn horn. I would rather have the shears, to be honest with you. Maybe? I don't know. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be giving up the... D6 so early, but, you know, getting the shears, the shears are a perfectly fine item. We'll just, obviously, roll over this stuff. Explode this, get some more spirit hearts, or more bombs, that's actually probably better at this point. I did get that damage up from the rock, remember, so... Like, not, not the rock there, actually, Dwayne the Rock Johnson came by. How was that guy faster than me? Dwayne the Rock Johnson came by and gave me a damage upgrade. He taught me how to give some Rudy Poos to people's elbow. I don't know anything about professional wrestling past the years 1997. Anyway, this guy's gonna die. I think Sloth always drops a tarot card, which sucks. Empress, though, is a pretty good card. That's gonna give us the curse for one room. So between our damage up, our flying, our shears, and the Empress, my guess is that this boss probably doesn't stand a chance in hell. But you never know. Maybe it'll be. Uh, maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be the Fallen or something. So we'll get some kind of awesome upgrade for defeating him. I'll just Duke of Flies, but that's okay. This is going to be a joke. I'll probably even save the Empress card, because the uh, level 5 Meat Boy is just going to tear ass on him, basically. There we go. Drop the Spirit Heart. Fantastic. Kind of would have liked a regular heart as well. No deal with the Devil, but we did get an HP upgrade. Save the Empress card. Down to the next floor. Would have unlocked the shop to see if there was a half-price item, but uh, I want to save my key for now. Oh, I said I want to save my key for now. But immediately you can see how useful it is to have... Uh, the flying upgrade because oh that was so dumb because I can just uh, fly over the gaps that usually appear on the caves in the depths there's another bomb here's our item room monstrous tooth is a shitty item but that's okay wonder if I could push that all the way now normally I would have to waste a bomb to get to that chest so it would cost me a bomb and a key to open it now it just cost me a key and usually those chests will contain something worthwhile Let's put it that way. I don't even have to use a bomb to open this chest. We'll just pick up that two cents. Again, very good because a bomb for two cents is a pretty bad trade in the whole scheme of things. Okay, I just wanted to get close enough to him so that I could hit him reliably with my reflection. Because my reflection sometimes causes your shots to go a little bit askew. Let's put it that way. Can I actually... There we go. One zombie, no problem. I could have just floated over that gap as well. Okay, now just try not to activate the other turret. It's like playing Mega Man 2 again. With those guys who only shoot when you're not looking at them. Well, it's not like that at all, but it is kind of similar if you don't think about it too hard. Down here, okay. Flying guys. Hey, guess what, motherfuckers? I can fly too! Man, not so tough now, are you? Might as well just fight the boss right away. Who are we dealing with here? Fistula. Shears is a great upgrade for this. We will use our curse as well. Just because it's going to give us so much more damage. We should be able to take up most of these things in only one shot. Oh my god, I still got hit! How did that happen? I, I, okay, this is kind of tangential, but if you ever see me in a video, or hear me in a video, I should say, saying something like, what am I doing here, JJ? And you don't know what that reference is from? Please Google, or YouTube, Tom Hanks' Mazes and Monsters' Worst Scene Ever. Let's see what we got in the devil room here. Necronomicon, Common Cold. Sorry, that's Book of Belial, Common Cold. Why not take the Common Cold? It's only one heart. It kind of sucks, and I mentioned that it sucks in the last video, but I like the way it makes me look. That nice heroin chic. Um, okay, this is Tom Hanks' Mazes and Monsters, Worst Scene Ever. Mazes and Monsters is this movie that was made uh, in response to Dungeons... There was a 
like a suicide and they co-opted that Dungeons and Dragons was the reason that this teenager could kill himself because it's all it's got like satanic figures on the cover and stuff like that the kid was depressed he just killed himself it happens sometimes um, I'm not gonna play that slot machine I'm not gonna go to that shop and I'm not gonna even look for the secret room let's just go down to the next floor so they made this movie about it and it's like Tom Hanks first role and it's the worst movie ever made but there's a scene in which he's crying at the top of the World Trade Center and he just breaks down in that like Tom Hanks like retard crying face and voice and I like Tom Hanks but as much as the next guy I mean come on I'm a I'm a hot-blooded North American male who doesn't love Tom Hanks but it's funny let's put it that way and I would strongly encourage you if you're not familiar with the, this reviewer called the Spoonie or the Spoony one he did a great review it was like a half hour long of Mazes and Monsters that's really worth checking out anyway Getting back to playing the Binding of Isaac here, I apparently do no damage to these things, which is a problem. Just a single, there we go. What I was going to say before they interrupted me, if just a single one would explode, it would make my life a lot easier. And indeed, that's exactly how that shit went down. I feel like Stone Cold Steve Austin every time I say something like that. I'm sorry I got so angry, guys. Because Northern Lion said so. Uh, let's bust open this human popcorn. More like human poop corn, am I alright? Well, we actually don't need a heart for once. Man, a brimstone would be a great upgrade right about now. Although I, did, I used to like apologize for getting brimstone, or just I'd see brimstone and I wouldn't take it. Now I'm just like, whatever, man. In my eyes of old age, I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. Go we'll murder this. Uh, we don't need that heart either. And I would love to get all this. Why am I even trying to shoot the TNT? Let's just fly over it. Do have two keys? Probably will go to the shop on this floor, assuming I can get that, uh, you know, all important 15th cent. And the slightly less important 13th and 14th cents. What's our item here? Ouija board. That's fantastic. One of the few times Ouija board is actually useful. This is going to allow us to shoot over rocks. So essentially now, uh, we can just hide in the corner and take out any enemies that we see. As long as I'm smart about it and I actually hide in the corner as opposed to just like sitting in the open thinking I'm over a hole or something, which, you know, happens all the time. Particularly during intercourse. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Gertie, obviously we're gonna do shears here. I'm just gonna hang out on top of this rock, and if the shears would like to attack Gertie, that would be fantastic. There we go. You got- there we go, okay. Now it's just gonna continually fire here. I'll help out a little bit, I'll take out the nubs. But otherwise, the shears, this is your game, buddy. You got it. Maybe I'll plant a bomb, speed things up a little bit. Okay, other than that, go to it, Shears. This boss fight is pretty much the reason I picked you up. Over my D6, which I could have used to get any item in the game. And you didn't disappoint me. It's not bad Gertie strategy right there. We got another deal with the devil, Spirit Heart. Uh, let's get underwear first. Range up is not horrible in this situation. Oh, I should have known it was Krampus. You never get two deals with the devil like that without getting some kind of punishment. And I'm going to argue that I should still have the the shears. Sadly, no. Krampus has become kind of a dick. Like, he's actually surprisingly increased the difficulty of the game quite a lot. And I'm kind of getting murked here. Not just because he's actually a difficult boss. And in fact, he is probably the most difficult boss. Um, more difficult than the Fallen, to be sure, just because of the speed at which he fires those bullets. And of course, the quad laser. If I could actually get him... My reflection, thank god I got that range up, otherwise I wouldn't have stood a chance here. This is actually going much better now, but I, I, this guy's like nearly impossible to beat without taking damage. I'm sure Krampus has ended a lot of runs around Christmas. Merry Christmas, boys and girls. You're not good at the Binding of Isaac anymore. But I guess you... Okay, but we do get Lump of Coal for that, which does increase our damage. That's a pretty good item. And, like, I don't even know what's going on with my shots anymore. But watch, as I shoot them, they get bigger as they come back. So they do more damage the more distance they travel. For example, here's one shot. You can see, small, small, bigger, 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 and then the biggest. So obviously we're going to go back and get some of that health back there, because... I took a lot of damage on that Krampus fight, as is wont to happen. I mean, the only good thing about this, essentially, is that... Uh, I did get Lump of Coal, and next time I see a deal with the devil, I'll know it's not Krampus, because if it is, then he's just a total douchebag. Not that he isn't, but anyway. Um, 
shouldn't have too much trouble with Larry Jr. here. As long as I can make sure I'm actually over a hole, we'll be okay. It's kind of harder than it looks. You gotta like look at the shadow under your character. And thank God I got my graphics turned up on high so I can actually see that. And got rid of that Steam group that kept requesting that I get Elder Scrolls V Skyrim for free. No thank you. I do not want to give you my credit card. Now someone told me... Wait, no, this is Judgment. I can't remember how to use Judgment appropriately. Oh, if you use Judgment on the Deal with the Devil room, something happens. Okay, so I'll save that for now. And I'll save my money for now as well, because I do want to get to 15 cents before I start going to that, ar that arcade. Just because I could pick up a battery from the shop. The battery would be pretty useful here in conjunction with uh, the... What's it called? The item that I'm using uh, exclusively here? Oh yeah, it's the shears. Let's check this out. No secret room. Or maybe my bomb was way off. Yeah, we got a few more rooms to go to in here. Turrets are going to be easy to take out. Like, the poison damage is such a waste. But when I'm in the deal with the devil room and there's nothing better and it's only one heart, I'm like, oh, fine. Almost like I feel bad for the poison upgrade for the fact that it doesn't get any play. And I'm like, oh, okay, just come over here. I'll give you, I'll give you some time. Here's the shop, finally, please give us one cent on this room. And also, please me, stop taking damage. Like, look at the poison damage, it doesn't even have enough punch to take out a guy when they get down to the ooze state. Like, they just stay there, they take a little bit of damage. Is this greed? Man, this has been a rough floor. Let's use, uh, we'll use shears. So that, uh, go for the greed, I'll take care of the hopper, buddy. Alright. Thank God I had shears charged up there. So now we've taken out both of the douchebag pseudo-bosses that we could have in the game so far. Greed and Krampus. So hopefully we'll be safe for a couple of floors. I mean, Greed shows up pretty frequently. Krampus, not so much. But man, that was a tough floor for the caves part too. I'm still taking a lot of damage here. Even on rooms where I shouldn't. Um... Okay, we got 10 bombs. Let's look around for the secret room. If I can get to 30 cents, that would be fantastic. There we go, finally. Tons more money. That will get us to 30 cents. 33, in fact. Money equals power would be a pretty good upgrade right now. And I guess now we'll just go... Could go to the arcade, could use my judgment card, but instead I'm going to go down to the next floor and pray that I just pick up some health before bad things happen. Apparently, if you get a deal with the Devil Room and you use Judgment inside of the room, you get like a third item that you can pick. Apparently. I, I think it might have been, I might be mixing it up with uh, Temperance. In fact, I'm probably mixing it up with Temperance. Temperance, of course, the card that gives you the Blood Bank, but, oh, we'll see. Maybe. If I ever take little enough damage on the floor to get access to the deal with the Devil Room again. See if we can actually murder this guy. I know all my shots are just doing like a spirogram around it. Here we go. Got a cent. 34 cents. Why am I even trying to shoot the fire? Just go pick it up. Oh, oh no. Isla Sue's guys. Sucks for you, buddy. Can I actually murder them though? Or are they just going to stand there? Taking it like champs. They're blocking me from murdering the other ooze guys. Oh no, they're not. Ten bombs. Okay. I would prefer to have 10 hearts right now. But I suppose you can't always get what you want. I can't even shoot the TNT because of the Ouija board! This is gonna be a challenge! I can't cope with it! Oh my god, it's so slow. Poison damage, please do something! There we go, I got one. My reflection is actually saving my ass here. It's the first and only time I'm ever gonna say that, probably. Just a single shot on that TNT, it's like, oh, it's so juicy, but... Sadly, no, tons... Oh my god, finally. Tons of keys. And Book of uh, Shadows, it's okay, but I don't really want it. I would prefer to have the shears. Shears has saved my ass a couple times already. Oh, you know what? I'm an idiot. I should definitely be going to these mob trap rooms, because I can just fly in and fly out. I wonder how many comments there have been already that are like, Hey, Northern Line, you're a dumb retard. I apologize, guys. I, I am as God made me. Let's 
shoot at these using our directional arrows. Those are the controls in case you guys haven't figured it out for yourself over the you know, past three months and 175 videos. We have 36 pennies. It's enough to buy... Oh, <laughs> god damn, why didn't I just fly away from them? I had the, the flight mechanic. It's enough to buy how many pieces of double bubble gum? Seven pieces of double bubble gum at five cents a pop. Remember when Double Bubble used to be two cents, man? Those were the days. Somewhere out there, there's like a 75-year-old guy watching this video being like, I invented Double Bubble. Didn't expect the joke to take that direction, did you? Right, let's murder all of these fistulae. Maybe not the most medically sound term, or the most medically sound procedure. You can imagine if you went into a surgery and your doctor was just like, hey, let's murder this tumor. I don't know how I feel about that. Thank God we got these two spirit hearts. Pick up judgment again. Please, no greed! Okay, good. Steam sale. Homing bombs is a, not a good item, but I got a lot of money, so that's fine. I don't feel bad about picking up that extra spirit heart either. And... We got a lot of money. I guess we'll save it for the depths. Oh, shit. Um, I used shears on this. Oh my God, I'm getting massacred. Shears, do something! I traded my... Lucky D6 for you. Oh, I took so much damage there. I lost two spirit hearts. Hopefully we come across the item... Oh, we already went to the item room, and it sucked! I might want to use Judgment soon, then. Maybe you can give me an HP up. Book of Revelations, although I, I kind of really like the way the shears are working out for me. Let's this champion. He's going to give me some more money, most likely. Maybe a key. Yeah, there's a key. I don't know why. I just have, like, a, a sixth sense for Isaac now. You can tell what items are going to drop from which champions. Sometimes. I almost strafed right into that. That would have been idiotic. Oh, we killed him pretty easily. And then he actually gave us enough health to get back to full hearts. Or enough hearts to get back to full health, depending on whether you want to use proper or improper English. Doesn't bother me either way. Whoa, that was not good. And neither was that. But hey, we're still at full health because we had spirit hearts. So that's three spirit hearts downed in like, I don't know, four rooms maybe? This is pretty good though. We'll definitely pick up all this money and blow up this tinted rock for more spirit hearts. Thank the lord. And in this chest we have more hearts and keys. Well, paid for itself at the very least. Gonna be going for guts here. Guts probably doesn't stand a chance. My reflection's working pretty well here, because even if I miss them on the first pass, then the bullets just get even more powerful. Uh, oh man, I would love to fight in one more room, but I can't because... I wasted my shears earlier, so let's go see. Oh, it's only Monster 2, whatever. Monster 2's kind of tough at the start, but if we can just get him to do his laser attack, then we're, we're all good. Like, even if I take some damage here, that's okay. We're just gonna laser him into oblivion. Come on! Yeah, there we go. We got him. Good to go, boys. Let's go home. Oh, I, I messed it up! I was thinking, I was like, I don't want to attack him on this side anymore. And okay, now I've got him in a nice little equilibrium. Not my best Isaac play so far, but that's okay. I'm just gonna... You know, you can alternate going on the top and the bottom of him, because you want to push him... Like, keep him in the middle whenever possible. Oh, I totally fucked that up. I was going too fast. I was doing circle strafing when I should have been doing half circle strafing. What was I thinking? Anyway, we got some tears up. We got some health that I can't use. That's alright. No deal with the devil, of course. Down to the Depths Part 2, where we will do battle with our own mother, assuming everything goes well. Um, Love to find a shop on this floor as well. Because otherwise, I'm not in a very good spot. I'm, I'm doing okay. I mean, Shears plus pretty high damage is alright, but it's not going to win the day for me, I think. Something like a Brimstone would be nice, and a battery for these Shears, and a Compass, and a Red Rider automatic action BB gun. I know nothing about guns. I haven't seen the Christmas story in 10 years. I'm great at self-deprecation, though. Finally, we have the item room. Finally, on our third room of the floor. Laser bullets, just focusing. There's a lot of... Oh. See, I should have been focusing. You guys made me talk. 
Lard! Slows us down, gives us more health. We probably need health more than speed right now. We're a pretty tanky character, all things considered. Uh, well, now we are, anyway. Deal with that. Pick up the key that will probably never come in handy. Fly into the mob trap room and then run away. Don't miss the tinted rock here. Actually, like, paying attention to tinted rocks and getting them has probably won me, like, 10% of my videos. So obviously we're just gonna pick up whatever this is. Bomb in a scent. And then fly the fuck out. See you later. Miniature gluttonies. You're not gonna get your jollies off on me today. Down here. Judgment. Alright. You know what? You earned it. But please don't milk me for, like, 10 cents. Give me some bombs. Oh. Oh! That's awesome! Judgment, you're the man! Greatest man on earth, Judgment! We got the shop right here, too. I guess, well, that's pretty much it for exploring, then. We'll just go to the shop, pray it's not greed. Pick up, yeah, we're definitely gonna get poop for seven cents. It's the worst deal I could possibly imagine. Well, I definitely picked the right direction going left the first time. Simple fight, Mom. Obviously, this is a shears-worthy fight. I'll just die fairly quickly here. I feel like I say that every time. I'm pretty slow, so I gotta be careful. I really could just let Shears take care of everything. But, Shears is kinda dumb. So, I'm gonna do my best to direct it. I've kinda gotta stand near where I want it to hit. But it's gonna do, at the very least, it's gonna do a good job of taking out these other enemies that just kinda spawn randomly. Okay, Shears, you please bite the foot that feeds. That sounded pretty disgusting. Can you imagine someone feeding you from their foot? I don't want to think about it. That's a Tarantino fantasy right there. Tarantino fantasy, coincidentally, my favorite drink. But you can only get it in Cancun. Please decide. Thank you. Cheers, you were almost totally worthless there. Let's pick up some extra health. We are very tanky right now, actually. And, you know, we might as well use Judgment, because we're probably not going to get another deal with the Devil. And we're definitely not going to get another shop, so... Might as well just give him a lot of money. There we go, Compass! That's awesome! Judgment, you have been a stand-up guy here, as we come towards the end of the game. Or the middle of the end of the game, or the end of the middle of the game. I'm not even sure where we are. we still got three floors left. This one's going to be pretty easy to figure out, though. Obviously, we just have the, uh... Secret room next, and then we'll bomb our way into the regular room. We're gonna see almost no action on this floor. Why did why did I do that? Why did I just let that happen? I have homing bombs. I totally forgot about that. Obviously, we'll waste a bomb to go to the secret room. Hopefully, something good will be in there. One up. Oh my fuck you, greed! I'd rather deal with three rooms than let you suck on my nuts any more than you already have in this let's play. And I'm immediately regretting this decision because this is a kind of tough room, and I don't have a lot of speed on me right now. My god, please, yes, come back to life faster, because you're actually kind of screwing me up by how slow you're coming back to life. Gemini, you gotta work out, man. You are in terrible shape. This is like a two-second sprint and then has to catch his breath. There we go, that actually worked pretty well. What do we have in this room? This has been one of the more interesting rooms, like, from a, a unique item perspective in a long time. This is definitely a combination I've never had before. Lump of coal, my reflection... Cheers. Definitely just gonna pick this up and then dip set. Oh, Larry Jr., get out! Get away from the door! What a douchebag! Oh, uh, well, uh, turns out that decision to avoid greed might have actually saved my life. Who are we dealing with here? Skolex. I don't even want to waste the shears on this fight, to be honest with you. And I'm not, because uh, it's definitely more valuable for me to save these shears and use them on a, another room on the wound part 2, perhaps. I'm hoping that once we get to the wound part two, we got some easy rooms to deal with. And it's not a long trip to get to Mom. Oh, we do have another deal with the devil. Dare I? Is it Krampus again? Uh, you know what? I will take increased damage. That's a pretty good item. Uh, that increases some of my other stats, too. So that might compensate a little bit for the loss in speed that I got. It's a long trip to get to, uh get to mom here. Let's use the shears on this floor. I knew I was going to take damage anyway. These guys are just too fast for me. That's okay, because after finishing this room, I think we get, we'll get get four charges instead of the standard two. 
three charges. Okay, so nine volt gives you a... It maybe doubles the charge you get per room. I don't exactly know. Why am I... Oh my god, I forgot that Sloth could still hit me there. We should definitely... Well, maybe not definitely. We should probably go back and go to the secret room as well. Might as well. The stars. That takes us to the secret room, doesn't it? That takes us to the mob trap room. Okay. Speed and range up. That's fine by me. See you later, Fistula. Oh god, but I forgot... Oh, I'm not actually that far away from where I want to be. And I can just rain down sweet hellfire right here. Oh my god. Get in this line of sight, please. Well, this is, they've got to be shitting their pants right now. They're obviously metaphorical pants, because they don't have real pants. Because they don't have real dicks, because they're pussies. I apologize to the three women out there watching this who may have been offended by what I just said. Not offended because you're women. I, there's no backtracking here. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm an idiot. Um, let's murder this, and then we'll come down here murder this other one. And take an insane amount of damage, because apparently I don't know what I'm doing in this game. World card, totally waste. Totally a waste, I should say. Let's see what we get here. Um, yeah, why not? One pill. That's probably going to hurt us. Bombs are key. That's fantastic. I would rather have 19 keys with two floors left in the game than 19 bombs that I could use to kill Mom's heart in this next fucking boss fight. Whatever. See you later, dickhole. Okay, laser's gotta go. My, I gotta get it on the first pass. Thank God. Poison damage may have actually gotten the, enough to get the residual there. Thank God we picked up two bombs here. Alright, shears, of course, right off the bat. Please... Focus on mom's heart. I'll take care of everything else. I can get these vaginal silkworms, man. You just go for the big boy here. Alright, now you can focus on Monstro. I think Cheers may do may scale with damage. It may do more damage now that I do more damage. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Oh man, Ouija board seems okay for taking out these zombies. I wonder if it passes through their like metallic shell and gets to their meaty core. I should start writing romance novels. Okay, the supplies died in like a second and a half. I'm not even using bombs during this boss fight simply because I lost so many on the... Oh god, they're shooting at me! Uh, simply because I lost so many and that bombs are key fiasco. Well, that was easy. Guess we'll go down to Shoal now. I have essentially no need for this world card, so I'm just going to use it for no reason. Vaginal bomb flies. I'm fast enough, maybe. Oh well, that went okay. Justice is a good card, that'll give us a half heart. Or a full spirit heart, that's cool too. Alright, double greeds, uh, which makes this a great candidate for getting the fuck out of here. See you later. Much rather deal with six zombies. Much rather just bounce than deal with six zombies, though. Oh, fucking homing bombs. Stay by the door, that's your only job. Okay. I can deal with this room. I got 20 keys, throw as many golden chests at me as you want. We have to fight in this room. Okay, it's just a headless horseman. Could be worse. In fact, he's very nearly dead already. Well, the hardest part of him is dead already. I can fly over this creep, I'm not sure why I'm so worried. Please drop the pony, that would be so good. Because, oh no, I will get Shears back, won't I? I will not get Shears back. I have to go fight in one more room. And I absolutely do need Shears. Oh, fuck it. So what is this, six zombie room? Okay, we'll fight in six zombie room. Put the bombs down, hopefully get a few of them right off the bat. Put some more bombs down. Tell your friends to run into the bombs. Oh, it took some dumb damage. There's only two left now. Much better. I got no bombs for this Satan fight, but I only need one to make it work against the Fallen. That was worth it. Fair one hard trade for one, uh, one Shears use. Okay, let's see how we get this done then. One, two, three. Place the bomb, run away. Worked perfectly. Oh, use Shears, of course, what am I thinking? And then he turns into Krampus for a split second. Which would be really bad for me. Oh, can you imagine if Krampus split in two? I would stand no chance. I don't know why I have so much more trouble with Krampus as opposed to the Fallen. Because essentially, I think it's like, just palette swapped, but it seems so much more difficult. Okay. 
Shears should just tear this guy's asshole up. Leave a candy bar around. Let him know you've been there. That was probably the worst Kirby Enthusiasm reference that has ever happened. In fact, it came off as borderline racist. But anyway, here come the feet. Feet are going to get taken down very quickly. You see that, like, next level tactic? Walk backwards and shoot, and then the, the uh, My Reflection shots will actually hit for more damage when they come back after you miss on the first pass. Genius! That was easy as hell! Well, as always, thank you guys for watching Let's Play The Binding of Isaac. I'll see you next time.